Hello guys, welcome to my new Jinxing Impact video. Guys, in this video, we are going to talk about Nahida's build. All F2P and, you know, not F2P. Everything, ev I'm gonna cover every weapon, every artifact set, the constellations and the talents and the team. We are gonna talk about everything related to Nahida in this video. So stay tuned till the end, guys. Okay guys, so let's start with the working as we already know Nahida attacks enemy in her elemental skill like this and they got and you can see here they got linked so if you deal damage to one enemy the reaction also triggers with the other another enemy so you can literally tag one uh, you can literally tag all enemies and if you keep dealing damage to only one <laughs> enemy the, all, that damage is gonna reflect on all the enemies only the reaction damage so guys Nahida all this is all based on elemental mastery the higher is elemental mastery is on Nahid, Nah Nahida the higher she's gonna deal the damage and gonna give you support first of all guys Nahida is a sub DPS and the support category the, the role is here is the sub dps and the support you can also use nahida as the main dpf dps if you want but i suggest you to use nahida as sub dps and support the weapons that you can give to nahida are the lost pair through the sacred winds her signature weapon the skyward atlas and the sacrificial fragment the witch set the favonius codex the mapa mare and what 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 next what next what next what next what there are there are what there are one more uh, catalyst i don't know the name of that catalyst there are one more catalyst the simmeru craft forgeable catalyst that you can give to uh, nahida i i dedicatedly dedicated it <coughs> i've also uploaded uploaded dedicated video on top five five star weapon and top Four, five four star weapon for nahida if you want you can check out that video but i'll say just give elemental mastery to nahida the maximum elemental mastery that you can give to nahida and the available availability of the weapon if you do not have any uh, elemental mastery weapon right now with you you can craft this mapa mayor from the crafting uh, bench from from the forge you can actually forge this weapon mapa mayor it provides you around 110 to 120 elemental mastery uh, but if you have sacrificial fragment i'll say just give this sacrificial fragment to your nahida she's gonna be have uh, having a blast on the field or if you want to give any crit or crit damage weapon you can also go with the witch set or the lost pair to the sacred wings let's move on to the artifact sets uh, before moving to the artifact set sets let's let's just you know understand the working i already told you you tagged you marked the enemy if you mark the enemy the damage gonna damage that Nahida gonna deal called the Triakarma Purification. And Triakarma Purification damage is based on Nahida's max attack and elemental mastery. <coughs> also, uh, Nahida's elemental burst gives you a tons amount of elemental mastery. Let's read out the passive ability. You can see here you can gain a maximum of 250 elemental mastery uh, from Nahida's elemental burst and then you can have here what you can gain up to 80 percent uh, damage bonus and 24 percent crit rate uh on the nahida's max uh, elemental mastery beyond 200 so uh, all the elemental mastery you having beyond 200 you can actually gain up to 80 percent bonus here uh, damage bonus and 24 percent crit rate that means you have uh, you can get to max 1000 ele elemental mastery here and beyond 200 is the 800 elemental mastery and you can uh, gain 80 damage bonus and 24 created from that 800 elemental mastery the higher the elemental mastery the the more she's gonna having a they're gonna have a blast on the field so guys let's talk about the artifact sets <laughs> On the number one artifact set, there's going to be the perfect on Nahida. There's going to be the Gilded Dreams. Gilded Dreams is one of the best artifacts in the game for sub DPS and support Dendro or any reaction based character. Uh, so you can give this 4P set to your Nahida. The second. <laughs> The second artifact set is going to be the Deep Foot Memories. Deep Foot Memories 4P set also going to be very, very good on Nahida. The third artifact is going to be uh, this one, the 
flower of paradise loss increase elemental mastery by 80 in two piece and increase the elemental reaction dendro related elemental reaction damage by a lot so these three are going to be the set you can also go with two piece a uh, wanderer or two piece two piece elemental mastery doesn't matter which two piece you can also go with two piece two piece elemental mastery and in sands in a goblet and in circlet all three gonna have the elemental mastery see now let's just understand what i'm doing with my build here so this is my build having 2000 attack 950 elemental mastery 40 crit 188 crit damage and little 117 energy recharge i'm using the weapon sacrificial uh, fragment and this is a pure f2p build like you don't need any five share weapon here or anything uh, like that i can also go with a uh, with sit here like the crit damage weapon here but if i'm going with a crit weapon like crit rate or crit damage weapon i have to give elemental mastery in the circlet like if you switch to if i switch to elemental mastery in the circlet here you can see the crit rate gonna fall and 200 attack rate damage here but the elemental mastery gonna uh, also fall a little because i get uh, 187 elemental mastery here but with the sacrificial i'll get 221 so you have to uh, build like this if you are giving a crit related weapon you can you have to give uh, elemental mastery in circlet and if you're giving elemental mastery a uh, weapon you, you can go with crit related circlet here so that's my build <laughs> that these are the artifacts these are the best artifacts i have and i've given to uh, <coughs> Nahida maintaining crit ratio and the and, uh, elemental mastery. Uh, the energy recharge is not that important on Nahida. You can literally go with. <coughs> You can literally go with zero elemental mass uh, energy recharge here and still Nahida elemental burst will get ready fast. Uh, if you're using Nahida as sub DPS or support, the maximum amount of damage that Nahida gonna deal uh, gonna deal in her elemental skill uh, with the elemental skill. So with the elemental skill, you can go with 40% only crit rate here because Nahida gains extra 24% crit rate from the passive. If you're having around around thousand elemental mastery here so guys this is a simple basic build like you have to uh, you, you have to give a lots of lots of elemental mastery to nahida uh, like tons of tons of elemental mastery minimum of 800 elemental mastery is needed on nahida no matter how you'll manage you have to manage minimum of 800 elemental mastery uh maximum uh, people ask me that maintaining this ratio is important or not see 30 percent created is minimum needed on nahida 800 elemental mastery and 30 percent credited is minimum needed on nahida and 150 crit damage is the minimum so 30 percent credited 800 elemental mastery and 150 crit damage these three things minimum you can uh, you have to have to get from the artifacts or the weapon Minimum of 30% crit rate is needed, minimum of 150 crit damage is needed and minimum of 800 elemental mastery is needed here. In terms of the constellation, if you are ha <coughs> having the constellation that uh, you know that uh, build is not gonna change a lot but if you having the c2 constellation you can just forget about the uh, crit maintaining the crit ratios there you can just go with the zero crit rate and 200 or 250 crit damage because you will gaining 24 percent crit rate from here then you can you having 20 percent more crit rate here that's equals to 50 percent crit rate you will get uh, you will gaining 50% crit rate from C2 including C2 and the passive if you're having thousand elemental mastery so you can just forget about the uh, crit, uh, crit ratio uh, if you having C2 otherwise this uh, builds gonna be same no changes so guys uh, <coughs> 
I'll just say that you can uh, give these weapon just not go for a five star weapon if you're having the signature weapon the build's gonna be the same you have to give a uh, crit rate or crit damage in the circle if you if you are going for the uh, don't go for the attack percentage weapon here just go for either a elemental mastery weapon here or go for a crit weapon here like you can go for the <laughs> crit weapon here like with said lost pair or uh, uh, metal pass weapon or you can go for the elemental mass weapons like sacrificial fragment mapa mare and uh, two more uh, four star weapons that i mentioned in my top four top five four star video for nahida you can check out that video also i made it a two separate video one for the five stars weapons one for the four star weapons besides for the artifacts i'm just uh, telling uh, telling you guys again just to you know so number one artifact set is going to be the clear dreams number two artifacts going to be the deep wood memories and number three artifacts going to be the law flower or paradise lost these three are the amazing artifact if you give these three artifacts four piece then nahida is going to deal a, a massive amount of damage and she's going to be a perfect perf Now guys, let's talk about the team as per as as for the team. Uh, you can run this team. Like I'm gonna uh, show you a different team in which that you can use Nahida in those uh, in those teams. So first is the Cino's team. So what I use in the Cino team, I use these characters in my Cino team. So <laughs> what's happening here? Let's just. Uh, uh, let's just you know know in the brief not in very detail in just brief like what's happening in this team so Nahida's gonna be the main main character here for the reactions so everything happening here is happening on the basis of dendro elemental reaction Nahida's gonna apply dendro to all the enemies and then she's gonna deploy her elemental burst so her elemental burst is gonna give 250 elemental mastery to the active character on the field that's gonna be a Sino. Sino gonna is gonna be our main DPS and we already know Sino is all based on elemental mastery the higher you having elemental mastery on Sino higher he's gonna deal the damage on the field so Shinkyu is here to, re to trigger bloom reaction and uh, cookie is here to support Sino. Gonna heal Sino. Gonna uh, generate particles for Sino. And Cookie also will also heal, uh, triggering the Hyper Bloom reaction. Sino is based on Aggravate reaction. That's that's the between uh, between Electro and Dendro. No interference of any other element. Aggravate reaction having very high damage, but we are including hydro here because of the hyperbloom reaction. Hyperbloom reaction is equally very high uh, compared to the aggravate. So lots of lots of damage is going here, and the Nahida is go gonna be the main pillar providing a dendro application and the 250 elemental mastery. Also, the solar damage is gonna be very high. You can easily deal 25 to 30 thousand on one elemental skill hit. So first team, you can definitely change characters here. Like in uh, in replacement of Sino, you can go with Raid and Show in here. Else, all the characters gonna be the same, and only the difference gonna be here is the Raid and Show. Else, you can switch uh, Cookie here with any other Hydro character like Yalen. So you having the double Hydro with the Neither and Raiden. One more team is going to be the Kokomi team. You can also use uh, Kokomi in placement of in replacement of Cookie, or you can use Kokomi in replacement of Raiden Shogun. Then your Kokomi is going to be the main DPS. Basically, you can use Teha in the Hyper Bloom, Squake Bloom, Bloom, and Aggravate teams, and he she is gonna be very very good. And also, you can use uh, Nahida with El Hedam having two dendro characters also gonna be very very good let's just future proof the team let's just recall the Sinos team again just consider traveler as a bezu uh, we all know bezu is coming in the game in patch 3.6 and bezu is gonna be a dendro shielder and amazing uh, dendro damage dealer like a sub dps so if uh, see bezo is gonna be a shielder so there's no need of adding cookie here you can add bezo so consider for now traveler 
as a bezo bezu so if we having two bezo uh, two <coughs> dendro characters and uh, here we having a one hydro character then we are gonna get 50 extra elemental mastery for Sino. Uh, if you go into the dendro resonance elemental mastery increase by 50 after triggering burning quicken or uh, like any any <coughs> any dendro related reaction you gain 30 and for six seconds then for other reaction you gain extra 20. so with with Sino, we are uh, react with this team we are trading all the reaction. The quicken is the reaction between electro and dendro. Then bloom is the reaction between hydro and dendro. Then aggravate spread also a reaction between uh, electro and hydro. And hyper bloom is the reaction between hydro, dendro, and electro. So that means we are gaining hundred elemental mass free from the uh, in this team with two dendro characters dendro resonance currently my Sino is having 250 elemental mastery 100 he gains when he activates his alt elemental bus so that's equals to 350 and 250 elemental mastery will gain from Nahida that's gonna be 400 600 and 100 we are gaining from this team that's equals to 700 so we are having 700 elemental mastery on Sino with the crit uh, rate uh, I'm having crit rate on 70 crit rate and 230 crit damage uh, with 4 piece thundering fury that's gonna be very insane when having a 220 230 crit damage with 70% crit rate and having 700 elemental mastery with a piece like thundering fury 4 piece your Sino is gonna be very very amazing on the field <coughs> the same you can do on any character any electro character like Miko <coughs> like Miko Raiden Shogun or uh, Fischl Baido any any electro character you can do the same also you can you can also create a proper hydro team here like you can use child Kokomi Ayato as the main DPS and you can use this same team here the one thing that you can do here you can replace Shinkyu and <coughs> you can just use any uh, any electro character here like you can use uh, Renin Shogun here you can use uh, Miko here just for the support just for the that triggering the Harbor Bloom reaction you can also use the Fischl or you can use the Sara you can use the Baidu here or you can actually just go for the Cookie so guys, these are the order team and that's how you'll, you can use uh, uh, Nahida's, Nahida in the team. And one more reaction Nahida's having, the Dendro's having is the Pyro plus Dendro. Pyro plus Dendro having the Virgin reaction. But I tested the Virgin many times. Virgin is not worth the time. The damage is not that very high that you can spend, that you will spend your money or time on that reaction building the Pyro character for the Dendro team. So in my opinion, by <coughs> virgin is not that high amount of damage comparing to hyper bloom or uh, aggravate reaction or the vaporize melt reaction for me aggravate uh, hyper bloom vaporize melt these four uh, these four are the top tier uh, reactions currently in the game so uh, if you spend your time money or efforts on these reactions and these characters building the these reaction related teams they're gonna be very very good uh, so guys uh, that's all for the video so guys if you like the video you can hit the like button and you can subscribe to my channel for more really uh, genshin or any gaming related videos in the future we'll meet in the next video till then guys bye bye take care